Joe, a big win for us on Saturday. How enjoyable was that game to play in? Ah, it was very good, obviously. First game back of the season, winning 8 1 is always brilliant in your home ice. And you played in a line on Saturday with Xander and Rory. First time, obviously, you played with these guys this season. And you were able to grab a couple of goals. Can you remember much about the goals? Can you tell us a bit about them? Ah, yeah. First of all, Xander and Rory are two talented players, obviously. Playing alongside them makes everything better. Uh, but the goal was not very much. Uh, Xander, tried to say, Xander tried to say go back door. I kind of went forward a little bit and then came back and then found me a stick. But no, it was a good pass from Xander. Oh boy. And you also picked up the, the Man of the Match award and you did, you scored two great goals, but your efforts all night were brilliant. You know, you were start to finish. You you never let the, the Pirates rest, the, the, their defence especially. I know if he's speaking to you through the summer, Joe, I know you've been working hard off the ice. Do you feel that out there nice now you're reaping the benefits, yeah? Aye, definitely. No, I was working for a good four months in the off-season, about six times a week in the gym, plus doing a lot of off-ice stuff as well during sprints. So, hi, I felt it was benefiting me a lot this season. And the fans on Saturday night, the, you know, as always, they, they go right behind us. Just how much do you guys love playing in front of them each week? Ah, it's brilliant, you know. That's what I love coming in with today. You know, you've got a thousand fans there watching, it's brilliant. So this weekend, we've got two big games coming up. First up, we've got uh, the Kestrels here on Saturday night in the Northern League. Obviously, you know, we were about to play them two weeks ago. It didn't quite happen, but They've had a great start to the season. Are you looking forward to testing yourself against them? Yeah, definitely. No, they've got a good start. They've had about what, six, seven games in the season. So, start of the season. So, we'd be ready right from the start. And then on Sunday, we play the second leg of the Scottish Cup through in Glasgow against the Pirates. You know, at present, obviously, we've got a comfortable lead. But, you know, we can't go in there and be complacent, can we? We need to go and get the job done. Yeah, definitely. We can't go in flat food. We need to just put two goals right past them straight from the start. And we should be all right. No bother. Well, good luck for the weekend, Joe, and we'll catch up with you soon. Thank you, Eastwood. Lynchy, an emphatic 8-1 win on Saturday to kickstart our season. You must have been happy with that performance. Yeah, yeah, especially, you know, I think the guys were a little bit frustrated after the week before. Um, it was nice to get a, a win under a belt. It was what was a relatively nervous start, I thought, in the first period. But second and third, we, um, we, we really took control of the game. In the game itself, both teams, you know, they started lively, we both had chances, but, you know, Paisley probably had the better of the chances, and, and Craig Chambers came up with some big stops early on that keep us in it, didn't they? Yeah, Chambo had a good game. Um, we spoke in the summer, uh, I think, when we signed him, when we were talking about him, that we were expecting a, a strong season out of Chambo, and he certainly started off with that uh, on Saturday night. And we grew into the game as the first period went on, we obviously took the lead, you know, with a few minutes left, Chad scored. Did you always feel it was going to be a a matter of just holding on in there, whether in that early storm, having not played for, you know, any games this season yet, and, and then we just that good things would start happening? No, I, I don't think it was a case of weather in the storm, no. I think the first period, 5-on-5, five five, was relatively even. I think we had two or three penalties in the first period, which maybe took the momentum out of us a little bit, and, you know, there was probably a little bit of nerves, a bit first proper game of the season and a big crowd in the rink, but, no, I don't think we had to feel ourselves in. I think it was, um, I think we just waited and took our chances once they came. In the second period, the guys, you know, they really took it to the Pirates. We scored uh, three goals, a couple for Joel and one for Joe. What was your message to the team at the end of the second? Because it's, you know, it's a two-legged cup tie. We're obviously in a good position then, but you obviously want to keep capitalising on that, don't you? Yeah, well, we talked about it before the game and we spoke about it at the end of the second as well. You know, it's a six-period game. Um, we didn't want to build a lead and then take our foot off the gas in the last four or five minutes and maybe give up a goal or two or anything like that. Um, but like I said, we said that before the game as well, you know, we said whether we're three goals up or three goals down, you know, going into the third period or last five minutes of the game, we keep going because everyone's seen it happen before where, you know, a team switches off for a couple of minutes in the third period in a, in a two-legged game and it comes back and bites them in the second leg. So, fortunately, that didn't happen. In the final period, you know, it really came alive. We scored four unanswered goals. We saw a fight. You know, the crowd just seemed to get louder and louder. I spoke to a couple of young lads after the game and they said that, even on the ice, they couldn't even hear each other because it was that loud in the building. Yeah, crowd were fantastic again, um, just like they are every week. You know, uh, I think we had maybe just over a thousand people in the building and it certainly sounded like there was more than that. Um, if we can continue to get crowds like that again this year, it's going, to be a, it's going to be a great place for guys to play. And one very encouraging thing must be that, you know, you got scoring for all three lines. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, so we've spoken to the guys two or three times this year and, 
we've said to them we don't want a we don't want to class a line as the first line and we don't want to class a line as the third line. What we've got this year is three lines that are all as good as each other and all capable of, of putting the puck in the net more than once each game. So we got that on uh, on Saturday and let's hope that's uh that's a common trend as the as the season goes on. That was the plan last year as well. Not we you know not to have our first, second or third. Um and we've I think we've managed to do that this year. And we've also got plenty of other guys that we've managed to give lots of ice time to on Saturday as well. So we ended up being able to roll 12 forwards and, and eight defensemen as the game finished. So it's half time in the cup tie, Lynch. We're sitting we're sitting in a great position, but you know, we go to Paisley this Sunday and you know we can't go in there thinking it's job done already, can we? No, I mean, anything can happen. You know, I, I, I don't doubt we caught Paisley on one of their off nights on Saturday night, but let's not take anything away from, from our guys. But yeah, we, we right now it's all about building momentum. You know, we've um, we've only played one game. We've had a good win. We're not planning the parade or anything yet. You know, we want, we want to just build some momentum and take it into the coming weeks. And before that trip to Paisley on Sunday, we have a, a tasty affair here on Saturday night against the Kestrels here at Murrayfield. And it's in the Northern League, actually. So, it didn't go to plan the other week. The other game, obviously, not taking place. But we're looking forward to this one, aren't we? Yeah, absolutely. They're always good derby games. Um, I think made a little bit more special the fact that there's seven or eight guys on our team that have got ties to Kirkcaldy or Kirkcaldy Ice Hockey Club. Um, yeah, at the Kessels, you know, I think we've spoke about this once already. They've got off to a great start, um, as have we, although we've played less games. But, yeah, it's got, it's got the makings of being a... It's got the makings of being a really good game here on Saturday night. As I mentioned there, it's a Northern League game. It's a new tournament formed this season. How important, no matter you know what tournament we're playing, is it? You know we're ready to go and compete for everything. Just like I said in the the interview we did at the start of the season, we said we want to win. It doesn't matter if it's a League Cup or other. You know we want to give a good account of ourselves. And if there's silver, if there's silver, we're up for grabs. We want to be in with a shout at the end. So we'll be going out to to give our all, just like we do every other game. Well, Edgy, thanks very much. All the best for the weekend and we'll catch up with you next week. Okay, thanks, Mark.